These past few days we've had the Anime Expo going around and along with it there have been a slew of new and exciting visual novel announcements. So if you thought this year's E3 was underwhelming, which let's face it we all did, here's something to brighten your day. But before we do, hit that subscribe button and that bell button. If you enjoy visual novels, it will be the best thing you do today. And of course, check out my other channel, A Bit More Jordan, for a lot more me. Let's get on with it. First up, Axis Games have announced a handful of Otomi visual novels, the biggest being Shuen no Virsh Era Salvation. I probably butchered that name, but I'm sticking with it. This one was received exceptionally well when it released in Japan back in 2021, so it was only a matter of time until it released in the West too. This is a plot-focused Otomi VN written by Nakayama Satomi, who also worked on Cafe Enchante and Variable Barricade. Needless to say, Otomi gay fans should definitely look forward to this one. Besides that one, they also announced a couple more Otomi VNs, those being Radiant Tail, Norn 9 Var Comes, and its fan disc, Nor 9 Last Era. Nor 9 Var Comes did receive a Western release on the Vita some years ago, but this will be the first time the fan disc gets a translation. As for Radiant Tail, it's a VN by Design Factory and Otomate, set in a fantasy world with quite a striking visual style. All of these Otomi VNs will release exclusively on the Switch next year. Axis Games also announced that the horror visual novel slash adventure game Spirit Hunter Death Mark II will be releasing next year on the Switch, PS4 and PC. You might be confused by the two in the title, but just to clear things up, this is actually the third game in the series. Deathmark is the first one, Spirit Hunter NG the second one, and now Spirit Hunter Deathmark 2. I guess whoever was in charge of naming Bravely Default is now working for Axis Games. But questionable naming aside, this is a fairly solid horror series, and surely this next title will be worth keeping an eye on for fans of the genre. Moving on to the PC sphere, with the publisher Just, who made quite a few announcements, including a couple of heavy hitters. The first one of those being Tokyo Necro. This is an action visual novel made by Nitro Plus, and probably one of their better regarded titles at that. It is praised for its great world building and stellar production values, with the game even featuring 3D animated fight scenes. If you enjoyed other titles of theirs, such as Full Metal Daemon Muramasa and Deus Machina and Demon Bane, do not let this one slip by. Their other big announcement was the Western release of Gore Screaming Show. This is one of the most prolific horror visual novels out there, and one that most thought would never be officially translated, considering that it is relatively old. Neither of these two visual novels have a specific release date, but at the very least Tokyo Necro is already fully translated and edited, so the wait shouldn't be too long. Sekai Project also had some visual novel announcements, one of those being the localization of Parfait Remake. This is a remake of a 2005 visual novel written by Maruto Fumiaki, who would later on write the well-known White Album 2. Parfait does share a few elements with that one, almost feeling like a prototype of sorts. Definitely a worthwhile title. They also announced Hamidashi Creative and Raspberry Cube, both developed by Madosoft. You might know them for their Moege Wagamama high spec, and these two are pretty much more of the same. They even recycled the same main character designs. But regardless, these will probably be enjoyable titles on their own if you're into this genre of VNs. Moreover, a couple of titles in the Nekopara series were announced, those being Nekopara After, which seems to be the next main installment in the series, and also Inupara, a spin-off of sorts where instead of cat girls you flirt with dog girls because the technology is finally there. God bless Japan. Just like with Jast, none of these titles have fixed release dates, in fact the translation work hasn't even started for most of them, so it looks like we'll be waiting quite a while. Besides those, Sekai Project also announced that A Light in the Dark, which originally launched on PC back in 2018, will be getting a Switch and PS4 version later this fall. This is a Chinese visual novel where you play as a man that wakes up kidnapped by a mysterious girl. It also features some interactive parts where you will need to be careful if you don't want to get yourselves backed into a corner. As for Manga Gamer, their main announcement was Rance 
03, which is a remake of the original Rance 3. Is it 03? Is it 3? I really don't know. This probably didn't surprise anyone as they have been in charge for the entire Rance franchise, but it's always nice to have confirmation. And hopefully it means that Rance X will be releasing within the next oh, 10 years or so, give or take. And finally, Majors themselves announced the localization of Anonymous Code coming to the Switch, PC and PS4 next year. This is the next installment in the science adventure series by Steins Gate creator Chiyomaru Shikura. This time the story is set in a futuristic cyberpunk setting and it's looking to be as in-depth and engaging as the other titles in this series. Now opting for a more dynamic presentation compared to the previous games. It is releasing in Japan later this month and we could prepare a review for you if there's enough interest for it, so let us know in the comments if you want to see it. Furthermore, the Western release Chaos Head Noah, which previously was supposed to be exclusive to Switch, is also going to receive a PC port, releasing the same day as the Switch version. And those were some of the visual novels recently announced, although admittedly, we did omit just a couple of them. Do any of these grab your attention? Let us know in the comments, and we'll see you guys next time. Take care.